Hey guys, Cal here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be Town Hall 15, I guess it doesn't matter, but Clan Capital uh, Raid Weekend. It looks like we have a 65% on the Dragon Cliff that we're going to be able to take out here. And once we take that out, ooh, there's like two dragons left over. It seems that our teammate did not properly get rid of them. So we might have to try the Inferno Dragons. I wasn't expecting to use Inferno Dragons uh, as, yeah, as a, I wasn't really expecting to. We might be able to just run through it with the hogs is something I know you can do, but I don't really want to risk that. So I think we'll just go for, ooh, we could use balloons. No, I don't think we can. Okay, we'll just uh, go in for no dragons here. Uh, we'll go 50-50 with the, or we'll go a little bit something. Let's do until this is the perfect amount. It looks like, do we have good housing space for this? Let's see if we go like this. We'll still have a little bit left over. So if we drop it like that, is that good? Um, We'll just bring in the minions to help out. Uh, we'll just bring double rage to help with those uh, dragons. And hopefully this will work. If not, uh, we can definitely hit it again, but let's just go with it. I'm going to rage on top of the dragon here just so that we can go straight into it with the Inferno dragons here, and hopefully this will be enough. Nice to take it out. We'll go in like this, going into this base little by little with the Inferno dragons here. Wasted that lightning, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to get through this pretty easily here. Uh, we'll do something like this to hopefully get into this Inferno Dragon also, or into that uh, final dragon. I'm going to take it out, and I guess it was a bit silly for me to think that this wouldn't work, but uh, you never know. The CC, or not CC, the Super Dragons can sometimes really... Uh, mess you up here, and uh, luckily we had the, uh, what's it called, graveyard spell from our last attack there, or the last attacker to help us out here. So now here we're going to be doing some of the, the main home village attacks, and uh, for that it's mostly, we're going to be a little bit boring here, and go archers, it's kind of what you have to do here. We'll bring a double rage and a lightning. Um, I don't think we have enough utility to um, take out uh, a significant part of the base without the rages. So we're going to have to be dropping rages instead of dropping, like, let's say, the graveyard spell. Graveyard spell making it so that our next attack can be even more powerful. I think we're just going to play it safe here, uh, bring the rages, and hope to get through here with not too much trouble. I'm not going to use my rage quite yet because there isn't a lot of damage here, um, and it would be nice if I could get into this section right here. Nice. So I can drop a rage around here so that we can take out all this trash and hopefully make our way towards that capital hall but uh yeah we're just gonna keep on chugging here Ooh, did i uh see i don't have the volume too high and i was wondering because i didn't hear the the town hall sound so when you're playing this definitely have your volume on it will help you a lot because you can just listen for that eagle strike uh instead of having to kind of watch it but here, the archers are going to try taking out these giants as as best as they can here. Uh, and they're just going to keep on going until they are, of course, taken out. Nice. We're going to wait for those. I don't believe the shot went off because the archers kind of die a bit quickly. 
especially with that cannon there. So that's going to be taken out there. I'm going to drop the next rage so that we can have full rage into this town hall compartment. I'm going to zap this out uh, to chip away at it. And I think here uh, is where we just kind of... Oh, I didn't hear... Okay. <laughs> Wasting a lot of archers here, um, which is not good. Um, but can't get too beat up about it. I'm going to kind of do a little bit of tanking here for my archers so that they're going to get a few more strikes in. Uh, seeing that we do have uh, a lot of these going on. It looks like no strikes yet for that town hall. Oh, we do not have that much time. So I'm going to sprinkle like this, let those kind of break through, and then I'm just going to drop all of them here to kind of take out this town hall or at least get close to it don't think we're gonna get too close yet they're gonna die there um but we will be able to take out that center section easily next time gonna hopefully get uh taking this down in three i think just going pure sneaky archers no need to get too fancy with it uh will be the way to go here so i think we'll just continue to go down the middle of this base because that's where all the heavy duty, uh, you know, defenses are. So we're just gonna keep on going down the middle. And then for our final attack, um, we'll just chip out whatever is left uh, with either sniping uh, troops, like balloons, or we just go the mass hogs with heals is probably what we're gonna be doing there. So making sure, it looks like the town hall didn't fire off, so we're just gonna keep on going like this. Because we have so many archers, we do have to start spreading things out. I just don't want to start spreading things out quite yet. I wanna get this down and then we can work on what we need to next. So let's just drop some barbarians here to get the funneling going essentially it looks like we can hit a lot from inside this rage um so i think we'll drop the rage farther down here to work on this left side a bit more um and yeah i think we're going to go ground so i'm going to go over here kind of snipe out this multi-mortar over there uh to hopefully take out whatever it's kind of most important to take out here if we're coming in with ground. No need to kind of target the air defenses because uh, those do not really affect our hogs. They affect our hogs a little bit because of the, the flying hogs. But overall, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So we're just going to keep on chugging. The double rage might have been a bit overkill here. Uh, might be a bit difficult for us to get much farther here with... The archers, so I think I'm just going to drop another rage here to help the archers with uh, this section over here. We only have nine more left, so I think we're going to go like that and like that. Kind of split it up a little bit. Uh, I'll drop, oh, I missed those ones, but going to have to keep on chugging here. I want this multi-mortar down, so I'm going to zap right there to help with that. Going to go right here. We need to take down this one. It's a bigger priority. That goes down. Um, and hopefully we can take this out here. So I'm going to send in this to kind of tank for our archers. And we can go in like that. Drop in another one to tank for the archers. And hopefully we can take it out here. Go like that. Nice. And uh, we have crushers. It looks like we might need to do another raid after this with the archers not gonna be able to take this out in three um it looks like we're gonna have to be a little bit uh we're gonna have to do a little bit more here because with the two heals i don't think this is gonna be enough especially with a crusher right here cannon cart oh and i didn't even realize we had a super dragon here so yeah definitely definitely not uh gonna happen here after for our third attack so we're gonna have to go four here i don't know what is the most because it used to be, I think it's four. Four is the a nice number to take out bases with when it comes to the clan. Like the town hall, I believe. 
Oh, I should have done a test there. Oh well. Because uh, I think three. I don't know if uh, people are good enough yet at Clan Capital for people to cons consistently get two uh, attacks in. Because I believe it's three for most non-Town Hall bases and four for the other ones. Because it's just like whatever it is plus one tends to be the case here. But that might be me just making uh, excuses <laughs> for my uh my downfall here so but i believe four is good i haven't attacked one of these in a while because usually the base is uh usually they're not left over for me usually there's a little bit of a how do i say it oh i need to open up this outside playing too much home village i thought i could deploy here but i need to open up the deployment zone so it looks like we're gonna have to do that we'll drop a few battle rams to kind of tank for the archers because it looks like it's going to be more important for us to slowly move over here the reason why i'm moving over here is for this crusher um but we might not make it with only eight uh eight guys eight archers so, oh, we might. It'll be close. Hopefully this archer can take it out. Nice. So we can open up here. Let's drop like this. I'll drop the wall breakers here to get ourselves into this section. And they're going to work on that crusher a little bit. Going to send in these archers for this crusher. I'm going to send in some archers for this cannon. That looks important. This cannon, this cannon looks important and this cannon so a lot of work was done actually on this base oh not good should have done this first so we're just gonna do that we're gonna oh we're going the wrong direction i guess that makes sense the wall was open so not going to get that one down but definitely this is an easy four attacks here there's nothing we can really do to mess this up especially with all this air defense left definitely going to take advantage of the hogs here so hog rider time going in we have two attacks so hogs so there isn't much more we can do here we might just cut it the video there there's no point of really showing you the last attack because it'll just be us kind of chipping away not big damage but uh, yeah, let's just, we're just going to spam it up like this, get some stuns going, and we'll heal over this bomb tower here to get our hogs nice and healthy. I'm going to heal, should I just heal? No, we'll wait. I don't want to deal with a potential, yep, giant bomb right there, so we'll heal over that. And I don't think we'll see too many more bombs for our hogs here, their full health. The reason why I heal, like waited a bit is because of course you get more gold the for the more troops that stay alive. So just wasting heal early on. See hogs there, if I wasted it earlier, we would've gotten hit by a bomb and then would've still three-starred, but we might've lost a few hogs on the way. I'm gonna drop this lightning. I don't think the spells matter. So we're just gonna take that down and get ourselves some gold 13 minutes i guess we might as well uh go to the next map here oh they're finding a raid i never knew it took uh took time to find raids like that usually it's pretty fast maybe less people are raiding but uh we'll just do skeleton park start from the bottom uh you know what we'll do We'll do dragon cliffs again and do our best to get as many dragons as we can here just to help out our fellow teammates here. I brought two little, uh, oops, wrong one, two little wall breakers last time. So we'll bring eight to be super safe. Uh, we'll bring the double rage. Oh, wait, no, we don't bring rage. We bring uh, a bunch of lightning and yeah, let's work on these dragons it looks like we have a very different layout here 
So then uh, we're used to people usually don't change anything about their base. And this one looks to have little bits of tweaking here. We have a easy access to one dragon here. We want to probably zap out this one here. One, two, three. Nice. And then we'll go one, two, three. And we have one lightning left just for fun here. And uh, let's just roll with it. I'm going to open up this wall here to help out with dragging out some dragons. As they're going to slowly make their way towards us, I'll open up here. Also, dropping the archer here, and let's move our way. And hopefully, we can... We probably should have zapped out those dragons a little bit later, now that I think about it, so that we could kind of come into this inferno tower area here, um, in hopes of kind of sniping those... Uh, these huts here because this grants us the easiest access to that so we're just gonna keep on chugging here but because we opened up everything these dragons are slowly going to make their way towards us i think i'm going to drop a barbarian way back here to kind of help drag them even farther away so that we can move in with these archers here and take them out i'll drop another one back here to drag them even further in hopes that we can keep on chugging here. So, we only have 11 archers left, so <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to take out any of these dragons, but we're definitely going to take out all their outposts, which is uh, one step in the right direction when it comes to taking out these dragons. I think you're supposed to take out all of them, though. Um... But we're getting close here, so I think I'm going to wait once again for them all to stop. And we'll drop one way out here to help them get dragged all the way over here so that we can hopefully make our way towards the final uh, one. So I'll drop it even farther out here. And looks like we can do that. I'm going to go drop it like this. And hopefully, nice. And we're just going to keep on trying our best here to take out these dragons. I'm dropping a lot of archers at once because of time, but also because of the splash. They have a pretty big uh, cooldown here. So we're going to take out all except two, leaving one very low health. But hopefully that will be good enough for our teammates to... Uh, pretty much take out this base once it's done. Especially with such a low HP dragon and a second dragon. Uh, pretty close. You can probably use archers here for one more and then take it out on your third raid. So, that's going to be it for the video today. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.